Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Heat Signature. So our last character kind of bled to death in the vacuum of space, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, so we get to pick a new one now, and we've actually got a Liberate mission available. Which I think we're gonna go for. So, what have we got? Armor-piercing long blade. Alright, I like that. Self-charging visitor, self-charging swapper. So we got two teleporters and an armor-piercing weapon, which is pretty nice. What is the actual mission that we're looking at look like? Uh, liberate Cherry Station. Uh, 61 second alarm response time, serious guard kit, dives down the ship. Yeah, that's all pretty standard for the Liberate missions. Guards just carry guns. The bosses carry guns and rigged with explosives that detonate with hit if the detonate if hit with lethal damage. Okay, that's something we should probably avoid because the last time we set off an explosion on a ship, things kind of went wrong for us. Um, so let's try and pick up a non-lethal option if we can here. Da -da 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 -da. Guns, maybe. Ah, okay. All we've got is quiet guns. Um, well, I will take a shotgun, I guess, and a regular gun. Um, what do we got for gadgets? I wonder if the crash beam will disable the explosives. Well, there's only one way to find out. Um, and a key corner could come in handy. We might be able to actually just straight avoid the guards if we're lucky. Uh, hmm. We can't really afford anything else, can we? Alright, cool. Let's... Hello, Breaker Gemini. Where are you? Hey, Jordan, how have you been? Hey, Breaker. Um, what do you need? I want to ask you something. We can ask him questions. So you quit Foundry. How does it feel? Good. Actually, not long enough to miss it yet, I guess, but it's like a lot of angry voices in my head finally shut up. Um, okay. Well, it's interesting. Get a little bit of backstory there, but uh, we'll pass on that for the moment and go see about liberating a space station. All right. So, we've got multiple guns, we've got two teleporters, we've got crash beams and key stealers. Let's give this a try. And we don't have a time limit for this, so we can uh, take our time, get things done nice and neat. Or at least that's the theory. Whee. And also they're really, really close to where we started. Saves me the trouble of having to fly all the way over there. Our entry point is... Shoop. Right there. Alright. Well, um, right off the bat, how about... Uh, we got three shots with this crash beam. If it doesn't disable... Uh, oh, shoot. If it doesn't disable the uh, explosives... Well, I guess if it doesn't disable the explosives, it's not much use to us. If it does disable the explosives, it doesn't. Okay. Cool. So, we do kind of need that dude's key, I think. I don't see... Oh, no, there's... No, that terminal unlocks the two doors. Okay, so we need this guy's key. Um, which we can just... Snag. Thank you. Oh, god, the captain's explosive. Um, that's an issue, to say the least. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do about that. Uh, because I don't have any way to knock him out. Uh, I'm just gonna store you down here, because that guy is wandering around and I don't like it. Okay, he's at the terminal now. I guess we'll just have to hope that the captain exploding doesn't destroy the bridge, um, because that would be unfortunate. And if him exploding destroys the bridge, then we're just shit out of luck, and we have no way of completing this mission. But we'll get another chance. Now, um, we are going to need the two key to get to him, so we're going to need to steal that guy's key. Um, without killing him, well, I guess we could just shoot him and find out how big the explosion is, but I feel like that would maybe set off an alarm or two. So we're going to pass on that. We're going to wait for him to come back here. Yeah, there's getting the other two keys would require a bit of maneuvering on our part. Oh, he's going somewhere else now. Come on, somewhere close enough that I can key clone you. Ah, dick. Okay, hang on. Thank you. 
Okay, so now it's just a matter of waiting for an opportunity to slip past these guys. Maybe just straight kill this guy. Thank you. I'm kind of sad we couldn't get an odd lethal weapon. I actually do feel kind of bad about just straight stabbing everybody we're running to. Oh, that guy's coming back. Uh, Alright, you go in the pile, I guess. And we're just going to have to wait for this dude to... Actually, once he starts looking at the console... Later, nerd. Just zip through here. Okay, hopefully this is cover. If it's not, we're going to be in a world of hurt. Okay, so far so good. All right. Thank you. All right, now comes the tricky bit. We're going to have to get rid of the captain. And... Actually, what if I swap her the captain? If I swap places with the captain, then I can get on the bridge and set the ship going and then book it? It's worth a try. Okay, out we go. You don't see anything. Oh god, he's shooting at me. Okay, time to go. Uh, crud. I just trapped myself in this friggin' room. Um, shit, there's a turret right here. Okay, there we go. Go, 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 go. Uh, ten. Nine. Did we make it? Yes! Alright. That was pretty stylish, if I do say so myself. And somehow we didn't set off the alarm, even though that guy was shooting at me. Okay. Interesting. Uh, remote grenade launcher has been added to shops. Fantastic. Alright, let's head for home. And I guess pick another character, because this guy doesn't have any personal missions for us to do anymore. We... I wonder... I guess we can just board the random ships that we see flying around and, like, hijack them if we wanted to be a pirate. Which I don't, really. It seems like kind of a dickish move. I'm super glad the, uh... The piloting... Locks onto, st locks onto stuff when you get near it, because otherwise this would be impossible. Alright, so your personal thing is done. Your personal thing is done. Steal the Star Salt Project to make enough money to pay off my sister's debt. Kill the foundry officer who murdered my mom. Uh, I'm digging the pink and yellow color scheme here. We're going to go for Breaker Forest. Um, and I guess we'll talk to you. Uh, da -da -da -da. Alright, thanks. Okay, so we'll talk to her again once we have 200... Uh, 200 credits. Now, we have seven right now, but we have a wrench and a swapper, so we're not in a terrible spot. Nothing in our stash. All right, what do we got available mission-wise? Steal a ship with no living witnesses. Okay, that might be a little bit beyond us with our no money and only one, like, weapon. Um, these guys all have heat sensors and concussive guns. Okay. Yeah, we might go for something a little bit easier there. That seems slightly more our speed. Yeah, I think we can pull this off. Oh. Oh dear, they've all got the glitch dash going. Okay. Well, that's... A little bit of a complication. Hmm. Mistake. Oh my god, 35 guards with personal shields. 11 bosses with shields and glitch dash. Jeez, man, the mistake missions are not playing around. Alright, let's do one of the mediums, I guess. We can rescue someone, or we can capture someone. The capture pays a lot better. But this one looks, like, trivially easy. Eh, yeah, let's rescue someone. Rescuing someone seems like a good call. Be a good person for once. Where's our target? Oh, they are far away. Alright, jumps. That's... Wow, that is a tiny, tiny ship. Alright, we want to avoid getting in there a little detection. Oh, those are windows! Oh, that's what those are. Okay. I see. 
Wow, this is a tiny friggin' ship. Okay. What is that guy? I guess he's carrying an item? Okay. Good to know. Well, um... What is the range on our swapper? Decent. Yeah, we'll have to wait for an opportunity to actually jump someone, though, because they have guns and we don't. So, let's see. Okay, this guy's coming over here. Please come this way. Yes. I'm a fan of your work, sir. Alright, I'm going to dump you over here for a sec. Okay, we got to be careful with the wrenches, because they have the same dash range we do. Meaning, um, if we're not careful... He doesn't know what's going on, and he's about to be unconscious, as is this chump. Thank you. You know, I'm just going to take the ship. What is this? Is this a thing on the ground over here? It is. Oh, it's money. Oh, cool. Um, well, there's nothing else on the floor anywhere that I can see. Take wrench, remote control pod, collision sensor. Oh. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. I guess that's for the teleporter. Anyways, we're just going to take the ship. Fly this back to our friendly station. Easiest way to rescue someone. I'm pretty sure we get a little bit of extra money out of it. Still not positive on that, though. Oh, yeah, we do. We get we got eight credits. Wait, what? Huh. All right, so apparently, because I picked him up um, while the ship was flying back to the thing... Apparently, if you're carrying your target, when you get back to the station in, like, the automated ship, you just drop them on the floor. Which is a little bit weird. Oh, well. Um, now that we've got a little bit of extra money, we can... Ooh, Enigma Claws. I do love doing those ones. I love doing the ones with the spare clauses. They're really fun. Even if that is an easy one. Wow, three guards. No one behind who saw you alive. This ship has no alarms and few guards. It actually pays reasonably well for an easy mission, but that's only because of the Enigma Claws giving us 10 extra. Sure, I'll take it. Sounds like fun. Um, and is there anything good on sale? Crash beams. Crash beams are nice. Uh, yeah, we're going to pick up a crash beam. And I would quite like a long blade, just in case we need to be lethal. Actually, nah, the wrench will do fine. Um... I don't really need a gun right now. We'll be fine without one. Okay, let's go um, do whatever it was we were just hired to do. I didn't actually really read the mission description, which was probably silly of me. Rescue. We're rescuing someone. Alright, good to know. We got it. Wow, I actually hit their ship by flying in a straight line across the map. I'm counting that as a win for my piloting skills. Alright, so there's a dude, there's a dude, there's a dude. That's it. That is the three people who work on this ship. Alright, well, um, I need your key, my friend. Um, which probably means you're going to be unconscious in a second. Especially if you turn down that way. Yep. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, we have the swapper, right? Oh, this guy's going somewhere. Cool. Okay, just gotta in range. If this guy spots me, I'm going to have to break his neck. Uh, I think he's going to turn this way, too. Nope. Didn't get a chance. Cool. Uh, I guess we'll just take their ship again. Why Why not? Off we go. So, I noticed... This is how I picked up the dude in the last mission. Um, when you set the course for the ship, you can actually just get out and wander around. So, we can pick this dude up if you wanted to, but there's no real reason to, because he's going to automatically get picked up when we get back to our base. Which is quite nice. Whee. Where's oh right, my pod is docked at the thing. So I guess if we really wanted to, we could get out of the pod and like um, fly back to base ahead of our ahead of the ship, and we'd just get paid when it arrived. But that seems like kind of a waste. There we go. Boop. Hey, look at that. Bloodless Enigma, silent, unscathed. Exactly as I planned it. Uh, how are we doing on money? 42. Alright, we're getting there. 
Well, we've probably got time for another mission. They go by pretty fast. Ooh, bloodless medium. Enigma medium. Ooh. I like these. They don't look very hard. Um, this one's to steal a ship, which is basically just what we've been doing this entire time so far. So, um, yeah, I'll accept that one. Guards have nothing particularly special. They just have wrenches and concussive guns. All right, that's not too bad. Uh, is there anything worth buying? A like non-lethal gun or... Ah. Okay, let's just get to it. Fly our way over there. All right, then. Let's... Man, this is a tiny friggin' ship. Look at that thing. It's gotta be like, what, two rooms? Oh, it's actually a little bit bigger than I thought it was. All right, well, um... Wait, what? Oh, I'm stealing an item from the ship. I thought I was stealing the ship. Okay, well, awkward. I misunderstood what I was doing here. Hi, you're unconscious. I think everybody around here should probably be unconscious, in all honesty. We're just going to take the ship again. Like, why not? Oh, hi, hi, you're coming in here now. Hello. Pardon me. Just, uh, putting bodies all over the place. Hi. No alarm sound, please. Smack. I don't know why I even bothered to pick this guy up. We're just gonna... What is in the cargo crate? The caster object. I have no idea what it does. It is an orange box. Hello. This is my ship now. Thank you. Whee. Set course for nearest friendly station. You know, why don't we just go fly our pod back for style points? Try and race our, race our new friend back. Ha! Suck it, nerds. Your ship is slow. Yeah, we made it. Um, oh. Deliver object. Okay, there we go. Bloodless Enigma, silent, unscathed. Five people harmed. Well, it sucks to be them. Alright, there you go. We got a bunch of missions done. We have already stacked up a decent amount of credits, so we're on our way to our objective. How are we doing on our liberation co our liberation thing? We're getting close, right? I can't see that. I thought the liberation thing would show up when I... Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, so... A couple more missions, we'll have another station liberated. I'm pretty sure the end goal for this game is just to liberate all the stations. Um, which doesn't actually seem like it's going to take all that long. Anyways, that's all for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.